Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you could uh, get a model out of Sketchfab and bring it into uh, the software wizard. And Sketchfab is an online content library for 3D models. They have over 150,000 Creative Commons free models that you can download and use in your scenes. And uh, so I'm here at sketchfab.com. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to create a free account. And then you could go in and search and for the model and you want to check downloadable when you're searching so you can find the models that are able to be downloaded so I'll just search for a model that I've downloaded before it's serving room and here at the top there are some ones that uh, are part of the, the paid content that you can buy but there's a lot of free models also like I said you can use so this is the one I wanted to download here and you click on it and you get a preview of the model how it's going to look and so now you want to go down and click download 3d model and you're going to want to click GLTF and GLTF is actually a good standard for um, downloading models because it's really c gets a good like consistent delivery of a 3d model because it has a very strict standard as far as the way that the textures and the information of the model is converted over so that's the one that you want to download as when you bring into a the software wizard so I'm going to go ahead and click download and this will download as a zip file that contains the textures and the 3D model information so I have this downloaded here then you're just going to extract the zip file And so, so you know you have the textures, you have this bin file that gives you all the information of where the components are placed and how the textures are attached. And really the only thing you're going to want to be concerned with here is actually the .gltf model. And so you can go to open with and choose Wizard 6 Inspector. If that doesn't show, then you have to go to choose an app and, and find the Wizard 6 Inspector. So Inspector is a 3D model. Um, inspection program that comes with Vizard, so it's actually a f free tool that you get with Vizard that allows you to kind of see how a model is going to look and change things like the size of the model and add lights and some kind of simple editing. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this up with Inspector. So now we can see how this model is going to look and, and so this is here the Inspector interface so you have the window where you can kind of look at the model and if you wanted to move something or rotate or scale so you want to sometimes check and make sure this is going to come in at the proper scale to your scene and then you could add lights if you wanted to this has baked in lighting and so now I'm just going to go up and go to file save as and now I already have a folder that I've created here so if not you want to create a new folder and then you're going to save your model into that folder let's call it room and in this folder it's also where you're going to save your wizard script so now I'm going to go and go to file new wizard file save as and then I'm going to save this in that same folder and so now with wizard there's just a few lines of code that you want to bring in the viz module and the viz effects module which you'll need for the model that has shaders which the gltf models have shaders applied and then viz.go to open up a graphics window and now you're gonna name the model so this is a uh, just kind of general python coding you're gonna do viz effects so you see it has an autocomplete dot add child and now if you want to remember the name of what the model was, you can right click here on this tab, open containing folder, and you'll see, copy the name. And that's basically it for being able to run the model in standard wizard configuration, which is just a desktop mode.
And so now if you wanted to run this with a different type of hardware, there's a tool called VizConnect that allows you to choose from different hardware configurations. So I'm going to save that in the same scene. Let's call it VizConnect config. You can call it whatever you want, but that's a good thing to remember is VizConnect config is a pretty standard way that I like to name it. And this choose from some common presets, and I'm going to choose HTC Vive, which is the hardware that I'm using, but there's different types of hardware presets here. And if you want to go in advanced options, you could choose whether you're using like a full body tracking system or data gloves or over 150 different peripherals, actually. But I'm choosing the Vive. And so now to apply this, I just have to then import the VizConnect module and I'm going to change the VizConnect.go to the Viz.go to VizConnect.go and now you just put the name of the VizConnect file which I called VizConnect config and stop py and as I said if you don't remember the name of that you can just do the open containing folder and see it here and so now if I run this this should run in the Vive There we are.